Dave, thanks for coming in and uh, chatting with me today. Oh, my pleasure, Kirk. Now, one of the things that I've known you for the past, wow, 16 years, and uh, one of the things that you had talked to me about in the past is you having a heart for the poor and for the homeless. And I'm wondering if you could share with me a little bit what has happened in your life to, I mean, you're a, you work in Wells Fargo Bank, you handle people's investments, you work with thousands of dollars every day, and here you are all prim and dapper, and you go and work with the homeless people. What, what has happened in your life that has led you to have that kind of a heart? Well, Kirk, you know, I think one of the things is uh, I really feel like the Lord had a call on my life to do that. And uh, uh, it came about in a very unusual way. Um, you know, I, I knew the Lord was speaking to me. I, I wasn't absolutely sure that that's what he said to me. Um, but really in, in pursuing uh, the Lord's call, I it brought me to working with the homeless and um, it's it's been a tremendous blessing it really has that you know I think the the Lord has a tremendous heart for the homeless uh, they are precious people in his sight as we read through the Old Testament and the New Testament we're called upon constantly to meet the needs of the homeless to you know the the oppressed that you know the folks that are that are struggling I have to wonder and I'm sure many of the people out in church here are wondering the same thing. Does it ever get discouraging that maybe you're working with people that they're just there getting a handout, but they really don't have a need? Or there are others that could change their situations, but choose to stay in that kind of a lifestyle. Does that get discouraging or disappointing for you? Well, I think, yeah, you deal with that. You really do. Um, that's an issue. There. I think one of the things that, that I find comfort in is that, you know, when we look at, at those, as, at the scriptures concerning uh, the poor, and there's not a lot of disclaimers, you know, I mean, feed the poor if, if they're not drunk, or feed the poor if, if they really need it, or, you know, and I think if you're too careful, I mean, that's one of the problems. I think I see programs where, um, and some have to be that way, where you really have to screen pretty diligently uh, in some programs. But I think when it comes to giving somebody a meal, I mean, it's, you know, let's say they don't need it, you know. Um, that's, I mean, you've, you've still, um, I, I think the Lord honors that. Yeah, it's not our responsibility to figure that out. That's right. He just says to do it. It's a way to um, help you grow spiritually and kind of get a little outside your comfort zone. Um, so it's given you a picture of God's heart. Absolutely. For all people. That's right. And for yourself included. That's right. Yeah. Well, that's great. And Dave, as we, as we close here, what would you challenge other people to do in response to what you've experienced? Well, it's, um, there's lots of different ways to get involved in homeless ministries. Our small group just made a meal for the homeless feed in the, in the park on Sundays. And, and Canyon View does that every second Sunday of the month, right? That's correct. Okay. Uh, so there's that might be a good um, intro, is to is to maybe talk to your small group about making uh, a meal. And there's also a, a group that makes a meal for Saturday nights at the homeless shelter. Okay. So you, um, but I, I would encourage people to to explore, um, and it it may be a tremendous blessing. Okay, great. Well, thanks a lot, Dave, for coming in here and sharing with all of us. And uh, I just want to encourage you to continue to do what you're doing, but in an incredible way that you're being a blessing to those that Jesus loves. Oh, I've been, my socks have been blessed off. Thanks, bro. Then sings my soul, my